Favourite Marvel heroes and villains are available to collect in the form of one ounce silver dollars from the island nation of Tuvalu. The collection started in 2017 when the government and treasury of Tuvalu, which is an island in Polynesia, commissioned the Perth Mint to strike 50,000 one ounce dollars made from 0.49s silver bearing Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse. The collection has grown to eight coins in total, but new coins released all the time. This collection is certainly one to keep your eye on. All of the designs are based on original characters and artwork published by Marvel Comics. So, this is the first coin in the collection. This is the Amazing Spider-Man, and it's a one-ounce silver coin, and it came out in 2017. I've, I quite like the coin. Um, I like the detail on it and uh, the design. And speaking of the design, the design for this coin is that Spidey is crouched and ready for action. He looks like he's about to fire his web right out of the coin. He wears his full suit with... Uh, the spider emblazoned on his chest. The background is a spider web and Spider-Man seems to be perched right in the middle. The Marvel logo and word Spider-Man appear under Spidey's outstretched arm and the copyright mark and the word Marvel are struck in the space under his shoulder on the right. Now on the obverse side here, uh, it's a one ounce silver coin, uh, 4.9 from 2017. Uh, it's from the island of Tuvalu. It's worth one dollar, and it's got Queen Elizabeth II on it. Not just the picture, the writing as well. Uh, fun fact about Spider-Man: um, his webs dissolve within an hour, and yet are strong enough to hold the Hulk. I like this coin a lot, and I think it's really cool. So, um, this is the next coin. This is Thor, and he's the God of Thunder. He came out a year later, so in 2018. Uh, he's, again, a one-ounce silver coin. Uh, this, this coin's not, in my opinion, not as good as Spider-Man, but I think it's a pretty good film, um, not film, um, coin still. But, uh, like I say, I, I do prefer Spider-Man. Uh, the design for this coin is that Thor stands in front of a thundery background with his hammer in his hand. He wears his armour and winged helmet. The Marvel logo and the word Thor appear above his head and the copyright mark and the words Marvel on the left of Thor's head. On the obverse side, uh, we've got Queen Elizabeth II again. It's one ounce, four nine coin from 2018 it's from the island of Tuvalu and it is worth one dollar now um, like I said I think this coin is quite a good coin but I, I think spider-man's a bit better in my opinion so uh, yeah and a fun fact about four is that um Thor was once turned into a super-powered frog by his mischievous brother, Loki. Yeah. So, uh, this next coin, he is Black Panther. This is another one of my favourites. Um, he is a one-ounce silver coin again. He also came out in 2018, uh, just like Thor. Uh... The design for this coin is that he is crouched in the forefront of his coin. Black Panther's vibranium claws seem poised to have their way out of the coin. The Marvel logo and the words Black Panther appear on the left of his shoulder and the copyright mark and the word Marvel are in the space to the right of his head. Around the left edge of the coin is a pattern inspired by Black Panther's claw necklace. Uh, on the obverse side, we've got Queen Elizabeth II. Um, it is a one ounce, uh, four nines coin from 2018. It's made in the island of Tuvalu. It's worth one dollar. 
Um, and the fun fact for Black Panther is that uh, he is as smart as he is strong, apparently. Uh, he has a PhD in physics from Oxford University. Now, I have seen the film Black Panther, and it's one of my favourite MCU films. And, uh, you know, it's a good film, and I hope they make a sequel to it after, like, COVID-19. So, I think that this coin is really cool, and it's got, like, good designs, I think. Uh, so, comment down below if you want there to be a sequel to Black Panther. So, the next coin is Iron Man. He again is a one ounce silver coin from 2018. Now, uh, the design of this coin is that he's ready to fly out of the coin. Fully suited up, he... Uh, sorry. Um, he reaches out the flashing repulsor in the centre of his hand. In the background, we see elements of Iron Man's HUD, which stands for Heads Up Display. The functions of this display change, but the circular part seems to be perfect to be a perfect eye tracking which allows him to designate targets. We also see three of the five icons that are always present along the bottom of the HUD. The Marvel logo and the words Iron Man appear at the bottom of the coin across his body and the copyright mark and word Marvel appear in the space in the top right of the coin. Uh, on the obverse side, it's uh, Queen Elizabeth II. It is a one ounce silver coin, uh, four nines from 2018. Uh, it's worth one dollar and it's made in the island of Tavulu. I think that the previous coin was better than this one, but that's just in my opinion. So, it's a good coin, but not as good as the others. Now, uh, the fun fact for Iron Man is that he has an artificial butler, which is Jarvis, uh, which uh, stands for just a rather very intelligent system. I'm not sure if you knew that or not, but... That's what it stands for. The next coin in the collection is uh, Deadpool. He's a one ounce silver coin and he came out in 2018. In standard Deadpool fashion, he stands arms crossed, glowing out at the world. We can see his dual katanas protruding over his shoulders. The background of this coin is the famous Deadpool logo. The word Deadpool appears at the bottom of the coin across his body and the copyright and word Marvel appear in a space at the far right of the coin. Interestingly, the Marvel logo isn't with the name and character like the previous coins. This, cause, this could be because the Deadpool films, like the X-Men films, were produced by 20th Century Fox. On the obverse side, uh, there is a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, it's one dollar and it's made in Tuvalu. It's a one ounce, four nines from 2018, made of silver. Fun fact about Deadpool is that um, Deadpool has bo bovinophobia. It's the fear of cows that apparently scare the heck out of him. I really like this coin and I think that it's one of the best coins in the collection and I think uh, it's really cool. So the next coin, this is Captain America. Uh, he's again a one ounce silver coin and he came out last year in 2019. The design for this coin is that he leans into his shield, he wears his full suit and mask. The background is the American flag. The Marvel logo and the words Captain America appear to the right of his face and shoulder. The copyright mark and word Marvel appear under the space underneath. On the obverse side, there's a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. It's made in Tuvalu. 
Tavulu. Uh, it's worth one dollar, one ounce, four nine silver coin from 2019. Uh, I haven't actually seen the film of Captain America, so I'm not sure if that's what he looks like because obviously I haven't seen the film, but I still think it's a good coin nevertheless. Okay, so the next in the collection is the Incredible Hulk. He's a one ounce silver coin from 2019 again. Um, the design for this coin is that Hulk's face is filled with rage as he almost bursts from his coin. Fully transformed into his big green self, he smashes his fists against the right of the edge of the coin. The background of this coin is shattered, perhaps to show the dis destruction that the Hulk always leaves in his wake. The Marvel logo and word Hulk appear above his head, and the copyright mark and word Marvel appear on the far left edge of the coin. On the other side, it's a one ounce... 4-9 silver coin again, with a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, and it's from Tavulu, and it's worth one dollar. This coin is, I, I like the coin, it's just, it's, it, I, I, it's its face, it's just a bit, you know, angry looking. Um, but yeah, it's a good coin, so, yeah. This is the final coin so far, this is Venom. He's a one ounce silver coin. Uh, he came out this year in 2020. Uh, it, it's a nice coin. I like it. The design on this coin is that his gaping sharp mouth of the venom leers out of his coin. As an alien amorphous form, venom is one of the most complex and intriguing characters of the Marvel collection. Its mouth and tongue are the most recognisable features, although its appearance changes depending on the host currently bonded it with it. The background of this coin is unusual as it is blank, but the highlights but that highlights the tendrils that Venom uses to bind itself to the host. Like the Deadpool coin, this one has only one word Venom and no Marvel logo at the bottom of the coin. This is probably because the Venom film was produced by Sony and it is not part of the MCU. The copyright and word Marvel appear in the space at the bottom right of the coin. On the obverse side, it's a one ounce, four nine silver coin from 2020 with the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on it. It's from Tavulu and it's worth one dollar. I really like this coin, and I think it's one of the best in the collection. So, I forgot to mention the fun fact for Venom. So, the fun fact for Venom is that um, Venom was thought up by a fan. A Marvel Comics reader named Randy in 1982. Marvel purchased the idea for $220 after Randy wrote to them outlining his idea for the new black suit Spider-Man that would enhance his powers but made of unstable molecules. Favourite coin in the series is uh, definitely Spider-Man here. Um, and my least favourite is probably Thor. My stepdad's favourite is uh, Venom. But I, I do like all of these coins quite a bit to be honest. Uh, comment down below which coin you would like to see in the series next time and when they come out we can review them um this concludes our video uh, a, a subscribe and a thumbs up would be much appreciated this has been the bullying bug goodbye